with open hearts and open minds. First United Methodist Church in Pueblo, Colorado presents Hope and Coffee with Pastor Hugo Venegas. Hi, this is Hugo Venegas. Welcome back to Hope and Coffee. It is Tuesday, and we are beginning our new series on the benefits of wisdom. And we're going to look at verses 1 and 2 of chapter 3 of Proverbs. But before we look at those verses, I have a question for you. Here is the question. What would you prefer, if you had the option, to choose between long life and prosperity? What would you choose? Between life, long life? And prosperity, what would you choose? Now, I know some people would say, well, I want long life. I want to live long. I want to enjoy the grandkids. I want to see my great grandkids. I want to see life progressing through decades and decades. Other people would say, no, 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 I want, I want prosperity. Hey, what what does it profit if you have a, a long life and you're broke and you, you don't have a job and you don't have savings and you don't have money for vacations to Tahiti? I mean, this, no, 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 I want prosperity. Well, I have good news for you because one of the benefits of wisdom starting out right off in verses 1 and 2 is long life and prosperity. You don't have to break them up. They come together. So it says here in verses 1 and 2, My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. There it is. The first benefit of wisdom is long life and prosperity. Now, I want you to know that in chapter 3, you, you have wisdom personified. The book of Proverbs, and if you look at Proverbs 8, you look at chapter 2 and chapter 1, it presents wisdom as a personified feminine figure. She's like the mother. And now we see that wisdom begin to speak, and she addresses those who are listening as sons. My son, here is the mother wisdom talking, the female mother talking, that female energy of direction is saying, My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commandments in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. So here is the first benefit, long life and prosperity. But remember, we have to cultivate certain habits in order to reap the benefits of wisdom. And what is the first habit that we see here? It's the intake the intake of God's word. It, and, and, and remember, it says, do not forget my teaching. The teaching of what? The teaching of wisdom. Do not forget my commands in your heart. That there are certain commands, that there are certain directives that wisdom will ask of us in order to live a life of abundance, a life of lasting happiness, a life of well-being, the shalom. Remember, the shalom, the happiness. When we talk about happiness, is the life of shalom, well-being, peace, and prosperity. All this is the life that the Jews want to live. So whenever they're saying shalom to you, they're saying, may peace be with you. May God's provision, may God's abundance, may God's well-being be with you. Shalom, I am wishing you joy, I am wishing you happiness, I am wishing you peace, I am wishing you abundance. The shalom is the benefit of God. and uh, But the habit is the intake and the practice of God's word, of, of wisdom. Remember, practical insight, spiritual direction that comes from above as to how we should live our lives, how we should manage our relationships, how we should manage our money, how we should manage our time, how we should ma manage our minds, how we should take care of our hearts, how sh we should take care of our bodies. When wisdom speaks and gives us suggestions and gives us commands and gives us directives and we acquiesce to those and we put them in practice, then we can experience long life and we can experience abundance. Now, when, when it, the Bible talks about long life, most people think it's talking about chronology, you know, living 95 years or 
83 years or 79 years versus 13, 22, uh, 27. And, and it's not just chronology. It's not just long life in the linear spectrum of chronology. Long life has to do also with the quality of that life, that, that you can live a long life and not have a good quality of life. I had a neighbor, we used to call her Mrs. Columba. And Mrs. Columba was in her 80s. And she was one of the most negative people. She was always being negative. She was always criticizing. She was so critical. She always found something wrong in everything that was going well. And Mrs. Columba was an old cranky old lady, cranky old lady. And, and she lived long, but man, I tell you, there was no quality being around her. And then I went to church and I met Sister Spence. Sister Spence was 87 years old. And there was a joy in talking to her whenever you would have problems. And, and as a young person, I would go up to Sister Spence and I would say, Sister Spence, I am having some issues I need prayers. And she would always look at me and say, God has your back. God will always give you what you need. Just be patient. Just wait on God. And uh, if something good it comes from God, it will be yours. Just have faith and have patience. Now, these two ladies were in their 80s and they lived long. But the quality of life of one of these ladies was exponentially better. She radiated joy. The other one radiated negativity. One was very toxic. The other one was a blessing to be around. So the, the benefit, one of the first benefits of wisdom, when we take the heart of God and the word of God, meaning take the word of God into our hearts, is longevity and its prosperity. And we'll talk later about prosperity but longevity, remember, it's not the linear chronological of seven, eight decades, but it's a quality of life that expands over a long period of time. So I wish you shalom. I wish that you will live long, but I hope that the quality of your life will be filled with joy, with peace and the presence of God and that you will radiate uh, the, the love of God and be a positive influence in those around you. Uh, this is Hugo Venegas. Uh, join us back tomorrow as we talk about a second benefit. We're talking about the benefits of wisdom. Thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed our inspirational Bible study, like or subscribe below. Join us for worship online or in person. You can visit us at firstumcpueblo.org or you can come by at 310 West 11th Street, Pueblo, Colorado, 81003. Give us a call, 719-544-1917, and join us again tomorrow for another inspirational Bible study. We'll see you soon.